Hi, so today I'll be going over a quick example of how you can actually compile Kotlin code directly to JavaScript. And I think I should preface this by saying that Kotlin is actually a normal language that people use to do normal things like web development or writing Android applications. But there's these parts of the ecosystem that give you really powerful features that I love exploring. So I just wanted to share that with you. And the reason I ended up using this was because I had a use case for it where I wrote some Kotlin code that I wanted to run in the browser. And instead of rewriting it in JavaScript, I decided to just compile it to JavaScript with Without needing to rewrite it. A few weeks ago, I made the case as to why you should write server-side rendered code in Kotlin using the Kotlin DSL instead of HTML. And I still stand by that, and I think it's a great way to build simple applications. The problem with it is that not everyone writes code like this. Most people write HTML. And since I'm terrible at front end, uh, I spend most of my time copying components from Tailwind UI or frameworks like that. And I found that I spent a lot of time converting them by hand and rewriting all the components, and that was frustrating, not very fun. So I built a little utility, and I'll show you an example of it right now. So this utility just takes HTML code, as you would get from Tailwind, and it converts it to Kotlin. And I want to share this utility with everyone like this in the browser. But the problem was that the utility I wrote was originally in Kotlin. Uh, and I'll show you the utility right here. It's dead simple. You could rewrite it in 30 minutes, but it saved me a lot of time. Uh, and it doesn't handle every case, but it does simplify the process a lot. And I wrote this in Kotlin. It just takes an input file and outputs an output file. And I wanted to convert it to a website. And this is that website. So, uh, and here you have the converter. And in this project, I've marked this project as Kotlin multi-platform and added JavaScript as a targeted output, which means that this code will all be compiled to JavaScript. Not only will my normal Kotlin code be compiled to JavaScript, I also get to write extra JavaScript without ever having to leave the Kotlin ecosystem. So as you can see here, I do a document get element by ID and I get my button. Since there's no type safety with what the button is here, I can just do as dynamic and then now I can use it as I would a normal JavaScript element where I can call any attribute or any function on it. And if I want type safety, I can add it myself using an interface. And here I just do an add event listener for a click and then I get my input field, I get my output field, I run the convert function, which is this function, which will also be converted to JavaScript. And then I set the output value. And when I run build on this, I get this. So this is a file, it gets minified, but that doesn't necessarily have to be the case. And all it took for me to do that is I had to mark this project as Kotlin multi-platform. I had to add JavaScript as an output. And here I can configure Webpack. I can add JavaScript specific dependencies. I can actually add NPM dependencies directly from within here. And Kotlin multi-platform has this cool feature where you can write common code and have interfaces that each of the targets implement themselves. So you can write as much common code as you need to. And when you actually need to go deeper into JavaScript or iOS or Android, when you need to go deeper into those things, you can implement them for the specific platform. This is very cool when you need to do some quick little changes, uh, but as always, you should be using the right tool for the right job. It can be quite complicated and sometimes you just need JavaScript. JavaScript is good at manipulating the browser. If what you need to do is quite complicated, you're probably better off reaching for the tool that was designed for that. Uh, an example of that is when I did the passkeys video, when I implemented passkeys from scratch. That had a lot of client-side code, and I tried doing it in Kotlin.js, but I decided against it because in that scenario, I could just have one JavaScript file, all the functions that I need. I didn't need to use any Kotlin functions, so make sure you use the right tool for the right job. But this is very convenient in the situations where you can use it, just like I did here, where most of my code is Kotlin, and I just need a little JavaScript uh, to get me there. And I'll just show the example of the code generated by the tool by pasting it in my website. And you may have to import a few of the fields if they haven't been added already. But this is already a lot more convenient than doing it all from scratch. And, I, and now when I refresh this page, as you can see, I've got this beautiful Tailwind component right here. So yeah, the Kotlin ecosystem is full of little gems like this. Kotlin multi-platform can do a whole lot more than just converting to JavaScript. But I just thought I'd share this cool little feature because it was useful in this scenario. 
and I'll add the link for this converter in case anyone wants to use the Kotlin DSL but doesn't want to convert all their components 